Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome to this celebration of God's love. It is so important that we are all here together to celebrate God's love that we see in Nathan and Caitlin as they come together at this altar. It is so important that we have traveled from far and wide to be here with them, for it is our presence here that helps to make this a special holy uh, day for them. perspective of a dad, it does not get any better than that. So we, are, are we wearing the socks today? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta do it again now. My ear is right in the case. Over. Under. I don't know what are you having curls? <laughs> but really, I could just say, want to say that Caitlin, we can't count up the many times that you supported us and fought for us, let alone thank you enough for all of it. Yeah. I love it. I, I love know. how like, elegant yeah. and natural it looks. And Nate, we cannot be happier to have you officially a part of our family. <laughs> All the shine. That's not to say that my first impression of Nate was the absolute best. <laughs> when I first met Nate, I'm pretty sure it was at Feev, our favorite college bar, and I'm pretty sure he was like a bright orange crop top with maybe like a bucket hat, just for good measure. I don't know. <laughs> I was a little apprehensive at the very start, but things proved to change. You can't think of us. We will. Yeah, we will. I think I want to marry you. forward to our own grandbabies someday. <laughs> so Nate and Kate, chop chop. <laughs> chop chop. I, Nathan, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Caitlin, take you, Nathan, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I have the distinct honor and privilege of introducing for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and Caitlin Bombardier.
Every time I was around Nate, he had a glow about him. The relationship continued to become stronger over the next several years, and as Nate neared the end of med school, he told the family that he was going to pop the question. And uh, as we were all huddled in the back of the, of the bar, we were like, wow, I really hope she says yes, because <laughs> this is going to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> party <laughs> I think what I was told was that Nate and Kate were kind of dating but not really <laughs> the story has changed since that time but that's what I heard at the time <laughs> Almost too perfect of a couple, if you ask me. I'll just share one story with you. Uh, a couple months ago, myself, Nate, and Caitlin, my wife Jenny, we attended a wedding together. My wife was acting as designated driver. God bless you. Uh, on the way home, Caitlin had a little bit of wine to drink, so we're like, "All right, she's feeling good." And she's in the back, and she's like, "Can I confess something to you guys?" And I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> Finally, some dirt on this girl. Like, this is what I'm looking for. And she's like, okay. I love your dog. <laughs> Thank you to my beautiful wife, Caitlin. <laughs> Obviously, without her, this would not have happened. I told everyone my idea was, you know, we finish up at the Basilica. I get a couple 30 packs of Bud Light or, you know, something like that. We meet up in the parking lot, you know, get some pizzas. It'd be great. But Caitlin had a different vision, and I'm happy with how it turned out. <laughs> and he was still up with them, and I, once I learned that, I was, like, done. Go open your present? Yeah. It was like this. Yeah. That leash was so cool. I know. Did you see the doctor? Yeah, it was open. Yeah. I love it. Oh, oh. 